This is a case of uh, persistent subretinal PFCL bubbles in the foveal area after a macula of retinal detachment operated with uh, vitrectomy and gas. In this case, the first uh, surgical approach was displacing the subretinal bubbles to the inferior retina in order to avoid the need to aspirate the bubbles under the foveal area. So first we create a bubble of subretinal uh, fluid and then with a subtle and gentle massage over the retina without touching the RPE, we dislodge the perfluorocarbon liquid bubbles from the sub, uh, outer subretinal um, surface. Once the bubble were uh, detached from the retina, we injected uh, more subretinal fluid to create a bigger bubble and have a higher chance of uh, displacement of these bubbles. It is important not to peel the ILM if you are going to induce a subretinal bubble because uh, you increase a lot the risk of inducing a macular hole due to BSS injection in the subretinal space. The injection was performed with a MED1 uh, cannula with a long uh, tip to allow uh, puncture of the retina without retrieving it. And uh, unfortunately, the surgery failed and the bubbles were at the subphobia area again. So in this case, uh, our approach was directly aspirating the bubbles from the subretinal space. To do this, in initially we perform ILM peeling under PFCL to remove uh, the ILM without the risk of inducing a macular hole due to a very thin uh, inner retina at the foveal area. The peeling is centripetal and afterwards it is enlarged centrifugally towards the arcades. Removing the ILM reduces a lot the stiffness of the retina and allows a direct aspiration of the subretinal bubbles without puncturing the retina. And that's what uh, we are going to do with uh, a short tip MED1 cannula. The short tip MED1 cannula is ideal to aspirate these bubbles. So first you get in contact with the retina and directly aspirate using the suction of your uh, vitrectomy system. You aspirate and uh, by capillarity the perfluorocarbon uh, bubbles uh, are removed from the subretinal space. Doing this aspiration under PFCL has the advantages of avoiding a macular hole when uh, aspirating the fovea area and also it helps uh, the subretinal uh, PFCL removal because once uh, the subretinal bleph is in contact with the large proretinal bubble it is uh, transferred into the big bubble as well. You can see how well these sorted cannulas can aspirate uh, PF with perfluorocarbon liquid. The fovea was clean and then we performed a fully earnest change followed by a gas change in order to treat a likely or micro uh, macular hole. Unfortunately, in this case, we were successful and the subretinal bubbles were completely removed without RPE damaging.